Live in HD from Hilton Coliseum on the campus of Iowa State University in Ames, the Cyclone Television Network proudly presents Iowa State Basketball as tonight the Cyclones take on the Hawkeyes. Hi again everyone with Kevin Lehman. This is BJ Shaven. Kevin, for the Cyclones, this game could have come at a better time. You're exactly right. They've got to fix what's broken after losing three in a row, and they're really working on rebounding and defending and getting their fast break moving. Well, for the Iowa Hawkeyes, they're off to a slow start, but this guy has really risen his game as of late. Matt Gaines had a great freshman year for the Hawkeyes, led the Big Ten in three-point percentage. 18 points against you and I on Tuesday night. He's ready to go tonight. Well, in this game, there's always an X factor, and for Iowa State, they hope that Marquez Gilstrap is that guy tonight. He was named preseason Big 12 Newcomer of the Year, and he has not disappointed the Cyclone Nation. Has had three double-doubles so far, 17 points, 10 rebound game against the Cal Bears last week. Iowa State trying to keep their winning ways here at home. When we come back, we'll take a look at tonight's starting lineups here on the Cyclone Television Network. Tonight's keys to victory are brought to you by your local Dodge dealers. Get to your local Dodge dealers today to check out Dodge's full line of vehicles. Kevin, what does Iowa need to do? They got to really handle the rock, BJ. They've had 15 or more turnovers in seven of their nine games. They did not shoot the ball well enough to overcome that amount of turnovers. They've also got to play with some Hawkeye pride. They have to get on the deck. They've got to get the loose balls, take the charges, and make all the hustle plays today. Now for Iowa State. Board work, BJ. 19 offensive rebounds to the Cal Bears. 15 offensive rebounds to you and I. They've get, they've got to get back to where they control the backboards and get their fast break going. They've also got to regain that swagger. Average 86 points a game in their first five games. Only 63 in the last four. Giving up late game leads to you and I and Northwestern. They've got to get the swagger back tonight. It will be Brackens and Jared Cole jumping it up in the middle. You see the series history here. Iowa leads that they won last year, but Iowa State has won the last three here in A. BJ, this series has been really close the last 25 years. It's just 14-13, one game edge by the Hawks. Your officials tonight are Steve Walmer, John Higgins, and Paul Jansen. A great crew for this one here tonight. Iowa's going to start with the man-to-man -man defense here, which has given Iowa State some fits this season. Well, last year, Iowa's man-to-man -man defense held Brackens to a season-low six points, just two field goals. Cyrus State did a great job on there, hoping Jared Cole can do the same this season. Cole loses it in traffic. Hamilton will pick it up. Garrett will run it. Iowa, good transition defense. The long! Well, we thought it was good, but it turned back. Right away as Bracken pumps it through. But one of the keys, the Hawkeyes have to handle the rock. First possession leads to a turnover and a dunk at the other end. It's got the Cyclone Nation alive and hopping. Okay, great Bracken's great hustle on that play. Here's 41 27, Iowa State with the lead on Iowa here at the half as uh, they are celebrating the 2009 Cyclone football team for good reason. What a difference a year makes as Iowa State bowl eligible under Paul Rhodes and going to Phoenix, Arizona as part of the Insight.com Bowl. And again, if you want to get more ticket information or how you can help out, you can log on to Cyclones.com to get more information on that. And we'll be talking with Coach Rhodes here in a few moments. But what a first half here, Kevin, by Craig Bracken. 20 points, and he has been locked in from the get-go. 20 points, 3 for 3 from the three-point line. Down the block, Iowa's not double-teamed him. They may have to change their strategy the second half. Now, Iowa's done a pretty good job of handling the basketball, B.J., but Iowa State is shooting the ball 59%. Iowa has to tighten up their defense. You know, the Cyclones were able to break away in the first half when Lucas Steiger hit two back-to-back -back threes, and that's been so key here tonight, too, as well. And also a great inning, Deontay Garrett, that last play. He got, this, got the man on him. He wanted to spread the court, got himself right to the rim. We've seen him do that a number of times at the end of halftime. All right, when we come back, we'll talk with Iowa State head football coach Paul Rhodes. That's next as you're watching Cyclone Basketball here on the Cyclone Television Network.